Good evening. Oh, oops. Good evening. How's everybody doing? I just noticed here on the main menu, uh, up in the upper left here, you, you can see a spire. I just noticed that. That's cool. All right. Will do. So we have our next suggestion from Mark. Wouldn't call it a task exactly. There is one thing I want to do first before we do that. Who should we take into the Stone Sea? Who, who are our favorite companions so far? My as aspirations shall be the end of me. Let's just pick up some people to go. Uh, uh, one moment, my friend. I've, uh... Okay, just gonna do a quick little jaunt. Quick little jaunt back to the to bastards' wound because I want to do something. I think it was down here. Landry is pretty maulin. Um, Ebb also pretty legit. Also, Landry and Ebb hate each other, so it makes for great banter. Three mages absolutely wrecked the bane. You are not wrong about that. You know who else wrecked the bane? Kills and Shadow. Alright, so there was a door that I couldn't open because I didn't have the right... the right thingy. So I'm gonna see if I can open it now. Oh, no, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. It was... Was it here? I think it was here. Just looking around the map to see where it was. Yeah, I think it was here. I should have just told these motherfuckers, y'all are here illegally in the eyes of Kairos. Everybody has to leave right now. I should have just fucking told them that. <clears throat> what I was thinking. It's fine, Harlan. Nothing nothing bad happens in the old walls. We've established this. Oh, is that it? Just a moonstone? Okay. Oh my god, it was a trap. Well. I suppose I should have expected that. was entirely not worth the effort. Glad I came back here. I'm, I'm not. I was being facetious. 
Why does it cost two points now to increase her might? Oh, because it's at 19, that's why. Let's give her something else. Let's go check on Wagstaff and Jaspos over here. See how they're doing. Make sure they haven't murdered each other. Mel report. Oh, the wound's been mostly harmonious. Any sign of Reef Talon? No. How are things? Difficult? Are you planning to stay down here forever? Oh, well, certainly. I'm sure others eventually want to wander out to the surface. Yeah, I, I really can't turn a blind eye to you being in the old walls forever, my dude. You'll need to leave eventually. I understand, but are, are you sure of this? We have our forges and our market, and m must we leave this all behind? I mean, I guess we could tell them to pack up. This is clearly not a- this is clearly not a place to be. Like, I'm getting big Sunless Sea vibes from this place. What do you guys think, chat? I don't know. I- I- I think it would be irresponsible to allow them to remain. On the other hand, maybe it's, you know, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's okay. Maybe everything will be just fine. Long-term real estate prospects for the area are not looking great. I, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, sorry, you need to leave this place. I'm sure the order is carried out. Know that it will take many weeks to organize an exodus. Yeah, fair enough. You know, if I can be of assistance, let me know. Stone stalkers still roam free, but even with quakes from Moaning Mystic, you can see Azure lands are becoming more dangerous for tribe. Humans adapt even to roiling landscapes, who travel and hunt for beast women even in toughest of times. So there may still be some beastmen living in the Stone Sea. I'd heard your kind was nearly extinct. Stone stalkers are weak. Starve. Die to humans. Kills in shadow is fast, fast strong. Best hunter protects pack. You're not a stone stalker, right? So why are you leading a pack of beastmen from that tribe? Is true. Them shadow hunter from Havenlands. But them last tribe. After tribe was slain, kills and shadow looked to stone lands, stalking on long hunts for disfavored, but soon became needed by weak whelps. 
by stone stalkers who had been slaves and had not learned how best to fight. Maybe fate binder who smells of alpha iron and death has come to help pack. Maybe can save left claw. Maybe pack will not slaughter fate binder today. Growl and bury your teeth. Yeah. Or should we just say nothing? Nah, I don't, I don't think we can let that comment go pass unchallenged. <laughs> Snarl. Left claw. Packrunt was hunted. Caught by humans. Is chained in Murrow called Plains Gate. Help! Free beastmen, or humans will drape Packrunt's skin by fireside like fries. I'll try, but it'll be difficult if the settlers are out for blood. I'll speak to them and see what options we have. A massive calloused palm cups the back of your neck as the beast woman drags you forward. Oh. Human Alpha will not fail. Fate Binder wants Beast Woman. <laughs> Any good hunts lately? Good, yep. And many more than five. Chased human called Bronze Brother, who was swift runner like River Rhine Deer. Made Beast Woman's heart thump fast, fast, and feet pound hard, hard through mud and slick grass. Mm, should have made Chase last longer. Okay, so I think we're taking her with us to the Stone Sea. Hey, we got a raid. Oh, welcome. Uh, touch base with everyone before we go. Good day, Fate Binder. What do you need? Okay, she's got nothing. Eb. What is it you need? Of course. Be seeing you, Fate Binder. Spells and abilities gain a larger area of effect. Sounds pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Runic Lore Master, also not bad. Eb's pretty good for spell slots, I don't think she needs any more. Although we for sure need to give her the Ice Rain spell. Oh, there isn't one, that's right, God damn it. Well, I can give her the bouncy one.
Actually, maybe frost armor would be good. Oh, yeah, frost armor would be good. That's really good. Okay, so let's replace hmm, Grave Grasp. Actually, no. Grave Grasp is good because Grave Grasp does paralyze, which is uh, pretty useful. Pretty useful. Bleed is also useful, as is Mark, but I think Bleed is better. Oh, Bouncing Concussive Bolt would be funny. Let's do that. And then let's make Rhyme Spike. Actually, let's make Rhyme Spike like the super powerful version. That's good. Uh, that's good enough. Okay. Keep Grave Grasp. We got Tidal Burst. Maybe Dave, it's good. She needs a defensive spell, is what she needs. So instead of hands and bolts, Arctic Ground actually we get too. Maybe she does need more spells. Maybe I'm wrong about that. The ground would be legit. Oh, it gives everyone marked. Imagine that. Oh, bleed, alien bleed. Oh no, it's too too much lore. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Instead of tidal burst. Yeah. Oh, wait, she could just get more spell slots. There we go. All right, because I hadn't finished picking spells yet. Right, so. Tidal Burst. Oh, Rooted. Rooted is good. Magic Armor, also good. There, now she got some defensive spells. And we can amp up her other spells, too. Just turn those up to 11. Sorry, guys. I know this is thrilling gameplay. Nearly done. What the hell happened to all of Lantry's spells?
a fast heal. We got the aura of healing. That's the healing armor. Not armor, but um, guarded form. Yeah, okay. Um, healing aura. Restore the land. Decent. Oh, shit. No, I didn't want to overwrite that. God damn it. Man, let's give him one. Oh yeah, mischievous mass. That's a good one. No, 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 no. Unravel mind, dazed and stunned. Oh, no, mischievous mass is pretty good too. Hey, more pants. Frightened is pretty good. Dazed and Stunned is good too, though. But we already have things to do Dazed and Stunned, so let's do Frightened. How does this even interact with Bounce? Let's find out. Yes. Let's see what my minions have constructed. Ah, very good. Go visit the other spires. See what everyone's up to. Meanwhile, in the library. Huh. Great findings. Ooh, new forge plan available. Um, research more artifacts. Illusions. Let's train a little bit. Do a little bit of training. Velos. Yeah. Where's Velos? There he is. What have you made for me? <laughs> Did you know there are seven ways to write fire, but only two for water? Could be that fire has more meaning in our era. Oh, apologies, Fate Finder. Oh, doesn't have anything. Lame. This, uh, how about you? Precise action, do I know that one? I don't think I do. How about Limitless Boundaries? Don't know that one. Piercing Force? Don't know that one. Reaching Grasp? Nope. Staggering Force? Nope. Killing Blows? Know that. Strength? Ooh. Don't know that one. Focus Drain? Know it. Rapid Casting? Don't know that one. Marking? I know that one. Okay. Staff of Enigma. Enigma Balls.
I don't think they would have gone here if it had went overflow, but I think, yeah, okay. Ooh, rust charm. Oh, come on, that was a great one. Shut up. On it. Okay, so he can teach me control atrophy, I just can't do anything with that knowledge. Alright, so what new ones did we get? We got Strength 3, we got Reaching Grasp 3. Hey, we finally got Increased Area Effect, uh, more accuracy, Increased Arm Penetration, Interrupt, and Rapid Casting. Oh, uh, removes the recovery time after Material Force and Guarded Form spells. Guarded Form is this one, right? Yeah, it is. So, I like removing recovery time. That's great. I'm a big fan of not having recovery time. Let's check the forge now. Hey, Samurai. Just doing some uh, some bookkeeping and checking up on you know people. Ah, we have completed the alchemist's gloves. Plus twenty to control life. Ooh, orb of life. Launches an orb of healing energy. Very cool. Gloves like these were originally designed centuries ago by the Archon of Humors, an accomplished magician known his day for destabilizing the balance of liquids in his enemies. <laughs> With a flick of his wrist, he could cause internal hemorrhaging, mood adjustments, and unforgettable bowel disruption. Whole battles were won by his spell casting, which left enemy combatants clutching their guts and leaking uncontrollably. <laughs> Seems like Lantry would get some use out of those. Since Lantry does most of the life controlling in this party. Heart's blood. Ugh. Yeah, it's Tom's worst nightmare. The handle of Hart's blood is tightly wrapped with cords of severed human tendons, and the blade itself is curved at an angle that encourages open wounds. This crude design was the product of a mage who translated the pre-empire runes on the surface of a battered shield. To his surprise, he discovered a poem. Much of the context and meaning were lost. Heart's blood, urgent to spill, open drink, grant us the boon of your delight. The mage recognized the rune for blood to correspond with a contemporary archon, suggesting there was power in the name. He spent the remainder of his career puzzling out the theory behind a blade that fit the shield, an effort that yielded the early properties of this weapon, and a mystery left dormant until now. 
Those who hold heart's blood are consumed by the waves of eagerness, and the need to plunge the blade into an enemy's guts at times becomes overwhelming. Whatever dark heritage first conceded this misshapen weapon, it is now awake to embrace its destiny. Oof. Let's do it. Uh, let's get Landry some proper boots, too. Some proper fucking boots. Maybe some proper fucking armor. There we go. Now you're looking like a proper sage. You know, I could use some proper fucking boots. Iron foot knockers. Do I have good iron boots yet? I gotta save some for, uh, for our man. Can't fight very well if your ass is exploding. Yeah, no, it's. I'm sure that was said by someone at one point. I'm. I'm sure those are words that have been uttered. All right. Upgrading my shit. Could just max everything out at this point. I mean, yeah, I'll hold off a bit longer. I'll just, I'll just give things a little bit of upgrades, a little bit of upgrading here and there. Just, just enough, you know, just enough, enough for now. All right, and I think that will do. For, well, let's talk to the master of brazing over here. The Master of Brazing sounds like he should run a killer, like, killer barbecue pit. Maybe he does. I hope he does. I choose to believe he does. Control fire! Train me in controlling fire. Oh, ranks trainable this level 69. Nice. Just gonna do one more hop back to the mountain spire, just do a little bit more training. I have dual wield, I think. He won't. No, okay, let, let me, let me. You merely adopted the fire. I was born in it, molded by it. Okay, well, how about... What's the one I have? I have bonus to dodge and parry. 
This one replaces dodge with parry against range attacks. Dodge is used for range attacks. Parry is used for melee attacks. Let's max out parry. Hey, I leveled up. You learn something every day. What is the difference between dual wield and one handed weapons? Okay, so it's it really okay. Okay, that makes sense. So one handed is just using yeah. Okay, that actually does make sense. Let's get that. So now we replace dodge with parry when superior. And let's train up more parry. Oh, I can't. It's already maxed. Well, okay. I got it. Who else can we train with? Huh. Hmm, a lecture. Excellent. But I don't really care about any of those skills. I could actually get the Fate Binder armor and then. Awesome. You know. Oh shit, I should do that. I should get the Fate Binder armor out and I should awesome it the fuck up. Ooh, wine. What training do you provide? Oh, let's get started. Okay, so now I get to reallocate stuff. Good, okay. Just, just give me all the points in the dual wield. Perfect. Okay. Um, I want lots of lore. Um, I would like some dodge. I would like good athletics. Subterfuge. And of course, parry. I think parry needs to be at least 100. 120 sounds good. Okay, magic. Um, I want some illusion. Oh, is that all? Is that all the magic I can learn? Well, in that case, sink it all into fire. I think I dodged 69. That's that's a pretty nice value, I think. Okay. 
And the rest in subterfuge. I think that'll do. I think that will do. Talents now. Faint, for sure. Slice, arrow shield, sneak attack. Let's stay with dual weapon mastery. That's pretty fucking awesome. Parry bonus for each enemy that engages you. That's cool. That's very cool. Charge seems cool. Magical Prodigy, Expanded Mind. Ooh, Enfoolment. Okay. Leadership. Organomy. Two arms. Actually, seize the initiative sounds pretty good. Okay, let's go with that. All right. Completely. Gotta complete their respec now, but that's okay. That is okay. Definitely want this one. Oh, allied AoE. That's cool. If that makes the, the flame ignite brand, that makes that an AoE. That's fucking awesome. That's really good. That is really good. We definitely want scorching missiles. We want focused rain on that one. But we also want... No, we don't. We also want the range. Of course, we want Sigil of Channeled Strength. Let's make it a wider cone in a bigger area. And give it Frostfire. Okay, that's, I think, it for the fire spells. Then we want... Mirror image, yep. What other spells should we give the Fate Binder? Uh, maybe, maybe, oh right. Um, what about Mantle of Flames? The Mantle of Zorg. Remember this one was a favorite. Uh, 
and also the area of flame. That was a favorite too. Okay, so Lantry gets some more spells now because awesome. That's a good one. Guidance, also a good one. Okay. She's already got spectral blur. Let's give her a mirror image as well, because she is... She is sneaky. That's another good one for her to have. Oh, Titan's Touch, of course. Hell yeah. Although, Champion's Fortune might be good too. No, no, Titan's Touch. Titan's Touch for sure. Titan's Touch for sure. And then Ebb can learn a bunch of new things. I think she's got most of the frost spells at this point. But we can give her a few more. We can give her Path of Frost. And we can give her Frozen Grip. That's a good one. All right, that'll do. Just seeing if there's any other grave light we can give her. Not really. Okay, that'll do. Enough screwing around with. Okay, just hold on. Yeah, and enough screwing around. Enough screwing around to half gate. Oh, kills in shadow interrupts a journey to the tears of the massive raised paw. The shadow hunter raises her head as high as possible, smelling the wind, and lowers her nose to the ground. Beast woman sent here. Went uphill. Kills in shadow can track. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, you nod in approval. She tracks. See the smoke of her campfire before you see the beast woman herself. Kills at shadow, chuffs at the side. I burn wood. Every hunter in tears can see smoke. Let's get further. You follow the trail of smoke to a gully and find a relatively small beast woman seated on a log. <clears throat> she looks up and chuffs lightly. Not smell you, she says by way of reading. Signs smell strongest. Human wants trade, then? Ooh, why is she here? Gem claim trades, hunts for meat and fur. Searches for shiny stones, but mostly trades. Trades all with any. Beast woman hunts to eat. Only humans hunt for barter. Gem claim likes shiny stones, likes rings. Reminds Gem claim of other times. Let's trade. Best meat, best hide, all fresh from hunt. Ooh. Some uh, disfavored gear for later. Uh, salted rations. Ah, cool. Some fish. There's some crap we can get rid of. Don't need all of these, although I do still like to collect weapons. Let's just get rid of the duplicates. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's good. A lot of stuff here I can get rid of. But, eh, I might need Sunday. Right? The adventurer's problem. Alright, it's Halfgate. 45 minutes in, we're finally playing the game. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get a little carried away with optimizing things sometimes. Kill the Scarlet Cores at Halfgate. Excellent plan. Oh, Edict of Stone weakens the Bane. Interesting. Is that the guy? Alaros. Watch your step, Fatebinder. The stone sees a rather steep drop from Halfgate's Edge. Wouldn't want you to slip off now. What can a poor trader do for you? Anything in stock? Afraid not. I hear the folks at Halfgate feel that his favorite are causing problems. They come to help. The meddling Earthshakers are protecting Cairn, but for the life of me, I couldn't tell you why. Maybe they like the trembling he causes every time he rattles and moans. But how are we to rebuild so long as the Archon lives? Oh yeah? The townsfolk sympathize with the Scarlet Chorus, then. We're gonna like him, but we don't hate him either. They got a plan to stop the Earth's trembling, so they say. Kill Cairn, kill the Quakes. Once the land's at rest, we can rebuild and farm again. The place sure has been wrecked, and by a fate binder like you, no less. No offense to you, of course, you're good justice, but if I ever get my sights on who did this, I'll give him a right piece of my mind. This city lost everything to the Edict. Her homes, her people, even her name. You can't imagine what it was like to watch her quake and burn. Now that the city's death slide is settled, we only have to deal with the occasional rumbling. The tremors that come and go like sweeping summer storms. Most blame the disfavored. The Earthshakers are no help at all. The Scarlet Chorus at least want to solve the problem. Alright. Well, lo and, lo and piss and behold, look who's here. The great fate binder at Tunon. Come and greet his excellency. Did you have us bow and worship like dogs at your feet? Or did we settle this with a bit of fun? I only just arrived and already you test my patience. Oh shit, I think I got an upset the meal in Kankerwit. No, don't hurt me, Fate Binder. I'm trembling. Can you believe this one? Strutting about this town like this town isn't already ours? There's only one question of what to do about you. A slice down your face, mayhaps, or a dagger betwixt your shoulders as you walk away. I'm partial to either. <laughs> you would attack the Fate Binder who reduced the Vellum Citadel to ashes. How very brave. <laughs> j j joke's a joke, eh? We're just having a bit of a row. No need to be so eager to die. <laughs> r r right? N no need to get all worked up over it. <laughs> Breaks into a full-on retreat. Quickly, Misery! The Fate Finder's coming through! <laughs> Follow quietly. Fall soft, soft, soft. Spilt the entirety of your last pot of wash. Oh no. Damn. That sucks. That's a that's a big oof, my friend. Big oof indeed. Time for sneak attacking. To see that, we should take a closer look. Get him, kills. Haha! -ha! Sneak attack. Whoa! Scarlet Chorus Wrath Ability, Scarlet Skin. 
Oh, defense against bleeding and burning attacks. Yes! Praise Zorg! Speaking of Zorg, let us ignite the blades. Actually, wait, is that one that works with... It is. Praise be! Alright. Let us also engage the Mantle of Flames! Let Zorg rain down upon you! Let the land itself burn! And of course, Fireball. <laughs> Holy shit, that was awesome. Oh, we're getting some sick, uh, sick wash preparation trip. That's, that's good advice, Samurai. Thanks. I, I still gotta, uh, I still have to prime and then and finally get around to painting my Eldar Corsairs. Now that I actually have a house and a space in which to paint. I still haven't fucking done it yet. Eventually. Man, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Let's gonna let's drop focused rain and let's just do big area effect. The biggest, in fact. Oh, we can't. Okay, well, what can we do? Marking is hilarious. Bleeding is hilarious. Let's just make it recovery time. Uh, lots of damage. Lots of damage is pretty good. Oh, interrupt. There we go. That's good. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Uh, um, let's change this one out instead of Volcanic Weapon, because it only triggers on crits. Let's make this Rapid Casting. Right. Hey, it's Left Claw. Beastman lies bound and unable to move. Can we not free him? Oh, I guess we gotta kill the Chorusman first. Ooh, what's this? Glory Seeker's Leathers. Oh! Plus two armor while it has a wounds. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. I don't hate it! I, I don't hate it. That's not bad. What do you guys think? What what looks cooler, that or that? I like I like the darker one. I think that's cooler. We're gonna go with that. I got it. We'll go back to the Fate Binder armor eventually, though. You need to flip back and forth really fast saying one or two. Yeah, I know. I uh, I screwed that up. I didn't go fast enough saying one or two. I apologize. Is there any good cloth armor we could give her? That's leather. Blood Chanter's leathers. Eh. Cloth tunic. How's that look? Eh, that feels more Eb. That feels more like Eb style. Right, let's have her ditch the headgear. Not ditch, but just hide. There we go. Headgear is for nerds. 
Yes, I realize I'm showing my headgear. Shut up. Oh, sneaky time. We seep into shadow. Yep, yep. Lantry not being very good at sneaking. Not kills in shadow had a special like pounce ability. Oh, she does. I'm just a fucking idiot. I wasn't using it. The reign of Zog. There we go. That's pretty good. Praise be. They want to have an actual... They want to talk. Okay. Must be my lucky day. I get to bathe my Arabella in a fate binder's blood. I haven't clawed my fingers to the bone. I haven't slaughtered those who plague my dreams just to be washed away by a Kairos damn fate binder. I'll make you regret it, you hear me? I'll make you regret ever coming here. Any last words? <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Motherless fu- <laughs> Any diversions can't save you. Too petrified to flee or fight? Don't worry. You needn't move to die. Let the land itself come to our aid. In the name of Zor- There it is, charge. Aha! We're wins! The mantle of Zorg! Let my enemies be encased in flames! Try something else. See what fun once per encounter powers I can do. Oh, Stampede! Geek the Mage! Geek the Mage! Have a look here. Front leg gonna get cut in the back there. Yeah, well, I fixed it. I fixed it. It's fine. I should try something else. Look, mistakes were made, okay? Let's hit him with the rain again. With the rain of Zorg! He's on fire. Did that guy just explode? Holy shit, he did! As you slay the last of the Scarlet Chorus gangsters that terrorized Halfgate, the towns and residents once more emerge from their homes. Yay! So this is what Kairos' edict looks like. 
Remind me not to look down. Yikes. I wonder how effortless all this destruction is for Kairos. With a single spell, the Overlord destroys the most fertile lands in the tears. Such a waste. On it. You're the Fate Blinder everyone's been talking about. Something I can do for you. This is the guy, right? Why is there a beastman being held hostage? When the town was primarily a market for farmers, stone stalkers worked as beasts of burden. They did the hauling and plowing mostly, and they learned not to complain. But then Karen incited them with a fool idea to take back the land to their ancestors. And they've been nothing but raving and violent ever since. Not long ago, that one there was dragged into town by a group of settlers in chorus. He was covered in blood. A wild thing. We've done our best to look the other way, but he seems they won't be satisfied to leave us be. Now they're out hunting us beyond our own gates. You assume the beastman's guilt. How do you know he was hunting a human? He's a beastman. That's what they do. Humans kill humans. He's what humans do. Even now, Kairos packs hunt each other, while also hunting humans called Tearsmen to extinction. <clears throat> I do prefer to keep my nose out of these things, but if you feel certain enough about the beastman's innocence, you might consider doing something about it. Let's check and make sure this is the guy. Hey, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Bled Mark sends his regards. I'm looking for the Azure Shield. The man's tanned, weathered cheeks scrunch into a deeply lined scowl. Who? Oh, Bled and Mark also wanted me to tell you this is your chance to see your wife again. I see. I had no idea you were also in the service. In any case, the Beastmen of Stone Down, the Stonestalker tribe, had this artifact. Their Prima, Hundred Blood, keeps it well guarded. What use would the Beastmen have for an Azure Relic? It's a matter of pride, Fatebinder. To them, the stone sea is theirs. And if a shining shield of iron is found, well, it's theirs too. Is true, but are wrong. All earth and azure lands belongs to beast women, but stone stalkers do not hoard useless trinkets for great trading or gazing upon like pining, slathering humans. A hundred blood to claim prize would mean beast woman tore shield from life and limb of rough, tough, worthy foe. Is proof of pride for Prima to tribe. <laughs> uh huh. How should I go about acquiring the artifact? Spilling your blood would be the most direct solution. No easy task there. <clears throat> it also might be possible to arrange for a trade, but who knows what a beast man could possibly want. Want to beat hundred blood. Want to eat liver of other tribes prima. Prove shadow hunters are stronger, better predators. But do not have to kill to be best. Can leave living or can help beast women protect tribe. Both are good choices for survival of all beast women. Yep. That's all I need to know. I'm not going to ask him about his wife. I suspect I know what's going on with his wife. What can you tell me about those who would defy Kairos in this realm? Uh, the beast been opposed Kairos? Ever since Karen fell and the Edict devastated the land, the beastmen have started to proclaim the Stone Sea. Tread with caution. Violence against humans is always justified, because always humans are provoking beast women, are stabbing at beast women with sharpened sticks or cutting words. Do not blame beast women for lacking patience. Do humans not also swat at buzzing, biting, swarming flies? Perhaps wisely, Hagrin says nothing. <laughs> right, okay, goodbye. Let's, uh... Let's do something about this. All right, all right. Show's over. Show's over. Oh, poor guy. Back away or lose both life and limb. Left claw still has killing teeth. Can still maim human. Hush and lie still. Do not snap snarl at Alpha. Kills in Shadow has come to help Beastman. <clears throat> Kills in Shadow? 
Left Claw hoped Pack Alpha would come. Please help Beastmen. Has Beastmen forgotten how to listen, when to obey? Said be quiet. Stop useless whimpering. Kills in Shadow is no longer Alpha of Pack. Beast Woman follows Fatebinder now. But Fatebinder will help Left Claw, as promised for Kills in Shadow. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Tell us what happened. Humans claim Beastmen killed settlers, but Beastmen has only hunted brown boar. Stone stalkers don't eat meat from humans. Tell settlers. Left Claw is good hunter, tracked boar for tribe, but got bit by Iron Maw near ridge to human den. Bled and bled. Thought would have to rip through leg. Then sun woke and humans came, howling threats. The settlers are convinced, but I'm willing to consider all sides in this matter. Yes, Left Claw speaks true. Perhaps humans will free beast men. What fate has humans decided? Let's not rush the decision. Before I make my decision, I'd like to hear more evidence on the matter. <laughs> We're doing some law. We're doing some law. Proof? Proof of beast man's mistake? Of beast man's shame? Of being caught like prey? Left claw cannot show boar's carcass to human. Rot smelling chorus pack burned carcass to earth, blood, and ash. But human can see where trap gnawed into left claw's ankle. Yes, can see how beast man was tricked. He's a beast, and he was caught coated in blood. What more evidence of guilt do you need? Besides, it was the chorus that dragged him in. They saw his guilt firsthand. The, the chorus? You mean the ones you watched me kill while you cowered from the shadows? I don't think they'll be offering testimony on the matter. <laughs> um, let's... Okay, let's not... Yeah. Interrupt him again and you'll be the one coated in blood next. <laughs> How many villagers have disappeared within the last span? Were any bones found from their bodies? Who doesn't disappear these days? We lost so many I can't scarcely keep count. Scavengers set for the valley, but never return. Even the skilled ones like Draycott have surely been eaten. <laughs> what do you mean to say, Fatebinder? Uh, of course you're the authority on the matter. With Lord Tunon's power, you can see the truth of things. Even hidden ones. I know, I've heard the Northern stories. <laughs> All any of you have is hearsay on either side. You're saying our word's not good enough, Fatebinder? You'd rather take the word of a mongrel? You're trying to get us killed? You want to get a new edict cast on us, or worse? Alpha will support Bovarek's wishes. Will help Beast Woman and Beast Man to survive. What will humans do with Left Claw? Either free Beast Man or end Beast Man's suffering. I'll speak with the crowd some more. No mercy for murderers. Death to the beast. A uh, group of our boys with some help for the chorus caught the beast. Wretched. I'm told the man tastes a bit gamey. I'm told man tastes a bit gamey, but wretched seems like needless hyperbole. It's not that far off from elk or loris, uh, from what I'm told. In fact, I've read the Kavatna tribe called human slow loris on account of its taste and ease of capture. Tastes like gristle swine. <laughs> and you're sure he's killed a human? Someone witnessed it? You softened the beast man or something, Fatebinder? That way you got one following your heels? You'd rather side with them than us humans, is it? The killer was found with blood all over his face and paws right at our gates. What else do you think he ate if it weren't one of us? The monster killed and ate a human. You call yourself a steward of justice? Well, go on then. Deliver that beast a well-deserved death. For justice to properly be served, he deserves either a Fatebinder's arbitration or a fair trial. That's so, Fatebinder? Why don't you ask some of the others around, then? See how many of us are interested in your thoughts on justice. You don't deserve to walk through, and you know it. <clears throat> Excuse me. By my authority as a Fatebinder of Tunon, I will act as adjudicator in this situation. Attempt to disrupt my duty to the court, and you will suffer the consequences. The woman pales. W what will you do, Fatebinder? Do you mean to find him innocent? With the lack of fate physical evidence, I will hear the people's testimony and judge the beast man in accordance with Kairos's customs.
Examine. Okay. I can't check his leg. Uh, yeah. Surely I can talk to more people. Slayer requirement, keeper of the peace. <laughs> what is other type stronger than pathetic human type? <laughs> Ever notice it's the little masted men that bicker most about harpoon size? I often assume that boys most quick to put down beasts are, more often than not, fur furtively obsessed with the, the primal in her suite. <laughs> okay. Uh, captured beast man. Ah, yes. Covered in blood, lurking about, mangled himself in a trap outside the gates. Don't know why the chorus brought him in, just wipe the beast out or drive him away. The left claw would not kill humans unless humans warranted killing. What warrants killing humans? If bad humans, if first attacked beastmen, if smell strange or smell good, if loud and annoying, if look meaty enough, lost or won't be missed. Stone stalkers don't eat humans, but kills in shadow makes no similar promises. You're not helping. I have to agree, you murdering beasts enjoy hunting humans. There's nothing deeper to it. He wasn't covered in human blood, he'd recently hunted a boar. Because he might have killed a boar doesn't mean he hasn't killed any humans. Huh. I hear rumors you're judging the matter. You have a mind to set the beast free. Best do it far from here. Tell me of the spires. Deep in the heart of Beastman territory, there's one. The other one is surrounded by rock worshippers. Or that Colossus of Stone, finally. A Colossus of Stone? Yeah, the giant of an Archon. He kept moaning and groaning as he made his way across the land, left destruction in his wake, and riled up the Beastman something fierce. I believe he fell near the dawning spire. Some of the vendors in town can tell you more. Okay. Let us continue to judge this case. Uh, what do you know about this case? Uh, how did you enter Blood and Mark's service? It was a few years back. Came home when the place was quiet. You know, that kind of quiet that crawls all over your skin? It was dark inside and empty, aside from this shadow of a man. I thought he'd come to kill me. But he just asked if I wanted to become part of a greater cause. I mean, how could I say no to that? He makes an appearance once in a while and asks me about things that have been going on in Halfgate, and I do my best to keep him filled in. Nothing more to it than that. Scratches at the back of his neck. Say... <laughs> say nothing. Yeah, okay. Alright. See that? Bounty bolts one, very good. Hey, it's uh, an Earthshaker. Nightbinder, two not. Mercy, please, mercy. Kill me and my torment. I'm begging you. And why? Would, if I'm going to order your death, I need to hear what crimes you committed to warrant it. Uh, how's this? I killed an entire village. Men, women, children. Crushed with the snap of my staff. Because I had to know if I could do it. I slaughtered them in a landslide and listened to their screams. You have no idea how exhilarating it felt. Or maybe you do. What is this guy's deal? Oh yeah, he's... yeah. Well, for the crime of willfully breaking Kairos' peace, I hereby sentence you to be crushed by the weight of a rock until dead. The punishment shall be carried out no later than a span from now. A fitting end. As long as it comes quickly. I have no care as to how it's done. Please, hurry and send for my executioners. Don't make me wait and wonder, wishing every moment for it to come. I can hear Prey's heart pitted patter racing. Prey is frightened. It smells good. Does that happen often? Folks trying to use you as a means of suicide. I've been tied to a Scarlet Chorus post, so I know that desire to be free even if it means death. <laughs> it's 
Trigger. More regards. What are your thoughts on the beast, man? Bet your britches I would. That beast is guilty as I come. Look, it's, his fur is still mad in the blood of his victims. The settlers were what messing two weeks ago, no doubt. He reeks of it. Some folks believe we ought to consider his side, but there ain't no point to it, mister. Even if he ain't the one that did it, those beasts are a threat to our survival. I'd not the noose myself for a time. <laughs> Even if the beastman did slay one of you, he's committed no crime. You've not sworn to any Archon, thus are not subject to Kairos' peace. <laughs> uh, but didn't those settlers disappear while scavenging the plains? Any number of things could happen to them in such a dangerous landscape. You think they fell or starved? No, the proof don't lie. They got ripped apart by a beast man, didn't they? I mean, that is, you don't really think he's innocent, do you? I don't like the thought of letting him go, but I certainly wouldn't want to let one oppose- I wouldn't be the one to oppose your authority in this situation, Master Fatebinder. You'll see that justice is done, I'm sh I'm, sure, I'm sure of it. Uh... Say I want to help around town. Stop the quakes. Scarlet Chorus had to play him before you killed him. I uh, don't mean nothing by that, Master Fatebinder. Even if he hadn't come along, I wouldn't trust much of the chorus's promise. Who else can I talk to? Irene. What do you got for sale? Cap of Absorption. Cool. Weighted Iron Shackle. Sigil of Atrophy! Finally! Thank Christ. Now... Now we can do some fuckery with the Sigil of Atrophy. Alright, check this out. Check out the Sigil of Atrophy. Channeling energy through the Sigil of Atrophy robs the target of vital energy, crippling their body and mind. Atrophy was discovered centuries ago in the East by a cult of mages trying to find a path to eternal life by draining the energies of mundanes. This variation on the Sigil of the Archon of Ruin was found to have its own powers. The cult grew in power before being stopped by a fate binder sent to judge them. Alright, so what can we do with Sigil of Atrophy? Touch of Atrophy? Uh, it's it's the opposite of, of Touch of Might. That's cool. Oh! It's... Actually, okay, look at the Sigil, right? Look at it. It... It's almost the exact opposite. Look at that. Look at that. The, sig the Sigil of Vigor has the opposite of the Sigil of Ruin at the very center. That's interesting. That's really cool. I wonder if... That's really cool. Uh, Alright, anyway. Um, aura of Decay. That's fun. Uh, oh, minus armor and minus resolve and a radius. That's pretty cool. Withering Cloud. Sickened, weakened, and a line. That's also very good. No, oh, silence, excuse me. That's actually also really good. <laughs> Check the shit. Sets entire town on fire. <laughs> Crippling Coil. Ooh. Rooted and removes two random beneficial effects. That's good. That... That would be good to use against Disfavored, because this strips two random effects things. That would strip Ash's Aegis. That's cool. Snake-like coils of crippling energy. Acid Rain. Minus Endurance. Poisoned Affliction. Foul rain to pour from the sky. Withering cloud, aka magic fart. Yes. Um. God, that is cool. Let's let's play with it. Let's play with this a little bit. Let's play with atrophy a little. Let's do withering cloud. That'll be one. And Acid Rain. Bleed would be a good one to put on that. Focus Rain. That's normally stinking cloud, yes. And crippling coil is another good one to put on. Uh, 
All right, let's just play with these. See how they feel. Let's maybe let's maybe test one out. Let's let's do a little do a little test. Do a little itty bitty test. Totally fine. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. Try not to kill the whole marketplace. <laughs> what? You mean like that time in Planescape when I accidentally killed the entire market? Got it. Yeah. Sticks were made. Oh yeah, let's ask her about spires. Oh, can't say I know much. Okay, great. Oh, just last Judge's Day, a fellow sold me a charcoal rubbing taken from inside one of the spires. Haven't seen him since. Said he was hanging to stone down, so I can't really ask him questions about it. Okay. Possible lead. We gotta be able to find some hard evidence for this beast man. So far, I haven't heard any solid evidence that he's killed anybody. How's my Wrath of Tune on? Not great. I mean, it's it's not so much. So it's I can I can do one little thing. Maybe if we find the people the Beastman's supposed to have killed, we can show it with someone else. Maybe. I don't know how to do that though. Gain Wrath of Tunon, but I really don't think he did it. I really don't think he did it. The whole of Azure suffers, so Can may be slapped down for disloyalty. Oh, is there anything I need to help the scavengers? There is indeed a way. A scavenging mission went out a few days back. We haven't seen him since. Here we go. I'll look for him. On their way to Stone Down. Where can I find Karen's body? A place called Howling Rock. All right, there it is. So those are the scavengers who disappeared. Sorry. We find them. Or what happened to them. We prove it wasn't the Beast Man. Sorry, I can't. All right, stone down. Hopefully they won't, you know, kill him while I'm away. Throat's getting a little dry. I'm going to get up for a second and get a drink, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Oh, we got a posture check. We got a stretch. Already done the eye break because I was up, and we got a water break. Thanks, Grimace. I got some oranges too, because oranges are good. All right. Oh, weird crystals. All around. Oh, of course. References of crystal like this one appeared in the Stone Sea shortly after Kairos' edict tore the land asunder. It isn't known if they're a byproduct of the Overlord's magic or the result of Karen's experiments during the war. Okay, let's do this right this time. Will do. Leaving death. Haha! -ha! Got him. Let's hit him with acid rain. Pretty effective. Right. Another battle. Start to think we're bad at making friends. Ah, oh, terrible at this. How am I not dead yet? Wow, imagine being hit with drowning and slowed at the same time. Yikes. I got it. Drowning in slow motion. I mean, would you rather drown fast or drown slow? Like, I, I don't know. Oh, extract the crystal. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? I extracted a crystal. What does it do? I have no idea. Oh. Azerlith Shard, capable of holding large amounts of magical energy. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's still drowning. Like, I'm not sure which I'd rather do. I mean, I'd, given the choice, I'd rather not drown at all. That's useful. A little, little capstone ability. I got it. What in Kairos' name are you plotting, boss? Why'd you kill those choirmen up ahead? I'll try and deny it. My gal pustule saw it all. I'm going to kill you so slowly you'll weep tears of blood, and I'm going to make your gang watch. Friggin' piss, it's the rogue Fadebinder! Furies! At arms, at arms! Shit, shit, damn, help! Scared prey is best tasting prey. He's most fun to hunt, yep, yep. Tremble and whimper more human will not save pathetic life, but will please beast woman. Charge! Haha! -ha. Let's give him the reign of Zorg. We 
Save my signal. Somebody saw that, right? Nicely done. Stop that instruction! <laughs> 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 Hey, we level up. Let's do the withering cloud. This one really doesn't want to die. There we go. Ebb gets more spell cooldown. And... Swift current, that's cool. Return to... Summons water from the target's blood and tissues. Yeah. Jesus. Raw damage is pretty good. Um, no resistance to that. Although, Tyrannus' grip is pretty funny. A bonus to control gray light at night. Interesting. Larger area effect, there we go. <clears throat> that reminds me of, um... Found something. I think it was Saturday morning breakfast cereal. This, the cartoon is, 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 it's like, it's, it's Jesus being like, ah, ha, 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 and a bunch of people like bleeding and the caption is a fun fact. <laughs> Because <laughs> he turned all the water and water. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that was that's that's. I think he's still going. That was a fucking weird web comic. I just, I just, I, I remembered a really weird webcomic that I read many, many years ago, okay? And I just started laughing uncontrollably. Don't tell me it's never happened to you, Falkenstein. Yeah, that panel's almost 20 years old. I know. I know. You know what? Do you have it up, Samurai? Can you post it? Because I bet you... Because I just realized I'm an old man... I bet you there are some people in chat here who have never seen it before. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, holy shit, it's almost 20 years old. But yeah, I bet you there's people here who haven't seen that before, so enjoy. Hold on a sec. This orange has really, really dry and thin skin. Just a minute here. I gotta peel it. Okay, here we go. 
I can usually do that one-handed, just I couldn't, because that one was too dry. Ooh, waterfall. My journey to the dawning spire at Howling Rock continues. The route indicated in the map I acquired leads straight through a den of beasts. Surely I can find a way around them. Oh, let me fix that. Let me let me just bludgeon auto mod into submission here. One sec. There we go. Yeah, I see why as well. That's um unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Because that one's one of my favorites. The most dangerous game. <laughs> hmm. Boulder. Boulder has betrayed us. There we go. We've now drained the little lake. Let's go in there. Let's go get the loot. That's it? That's it? Seriously? Lame. See that? That. Take a closer look. That is a sigil. Oh yeah, fire, of course. But Lantry. Lantry, please don't be dead. Thank you. A portion of an unknown sigil has been recorded on the scroll. Hmm. Yeah, it was a landmine. I was not oh, expecting <clears throat> a landmine. Can't do that. Oh, another Azerlith. No way across there. But there's a little beastman cub. <laughs> Puppy, yeah, not quite. Not quite. <coughs> Close, though. Course. You want me to be subtle? Fine. On it. Human demands too much from Beast Woman. Sneaky, sneaky. Reign of Zorg. Rain of acid. And geek the mage. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> rain of water. Oh wait. Yeah, it's just, just just called rain. That's what that's called. <laughs> wow. Eliminate Octave and his band of Scarlet Chorus. Done. Another Azure Lith. Murder hoboing complete. Listen, it's not murder hoboing if. Um. If, um. If I say it is. There you go. Flexing. My authority is the Fate Binder of Tunon. There we go. Exactly. If, if reasons. Yes. Precisely. So yeah, you guys, you guys are getting a sense of what the Edict of Stone did? Because this used to be rolling grassy plains. Now look at it. Kairos did all of that. All of that used to be grassy plains. Do not move, human. Explain or die. What has human come seeking from Stonestalker Den? I need to speak with the leader of your tribe. Come, enter, but do not seek to cause strife. Cream a hundred blood would want to speak with strange smelling human. Human. Speak or lead beast woman be. What's with the whelps? Our black maws. <laughs> Our strong, good whelps. Smart cubs. Have grown big. But are only two seasons old. It's early for whelps to leave brood hole and roam loose. But Prima need a den to cage humans who hunted elder teeth. Uh, what are elder teeth? Elder teeth are pride of stone stalker mystics are precious plum crystals that sprout in stone lands. When harvested, mystics can wear shards like necklace of teeth to increase strength of bite and strike. Elder teeth are strength of stone stalkers. Humans invaded territory, claimed to hunt rocks called Agilith, but were spotted stealing elder teeth. Now lying humans must suffer. Speaks for soil. Ooh, that one's different. That one looks significantly different from the others. The hunched elderly beast woman. Leave, mystic bee. Speaks for soil. Communed only with stone stalkers and tribe lands. And human is neither tribe mate nor rock. Okay. Let's, uh, let's leave her be. Ooh, a secret. Um, huh. what have I just spotted? I spotted something. Something here. Ha! Okay, they won't let me pass. Freeze, feet, human. Stay right there. Why is human come to Stonestalk at den? To make trouble? To fight with beast women? If so, beast woman will happily rip claws through human's chest. <clears throat> I've been sent to find a group of missing settlers. I believe they're cap these are their captives. Makes no difference to tribe. Well, it makes a difference to me. I wish to free these captives. Free weak sniveling humans and be punished by Prima? No! Beast Woman thinks not. Well, clearly I can't convince you. Let's find 100 blood.
Rift dig. Don't like humans and tried lands. Stink of sweat and filth. Look like ironclads, but are weak. Kill own kind for food on barren plat paths. <clears throat> oh, offer him a treat. What have you seen? Tell me. He eagerly accepts. Saw with sharp beastman eyes. Ironclad swarmed sta scavengers at place with grey stone. Remember, because hunt was strange. Ironclad smelled of rot and were weak. Struggled to kill pack that was same size. That does sound strange. I'll look into it. Hunt and stealth. Ironclads are dangerous when encountered. Usually. Another place to check out. Ah, hundred blood. There she is. Have a look. Look here. There she is. Ooh, elixir vitality. I like vitality. I also like might. Just chug the elixirs. Human. Who approaches hundred blood, strongest in all stone lands? First free prowler, beast woman who reached without bounds, mystic and prima to stone stalker tribe. Hmm. Smells like will of alpha, like snarling over fresh kill. Unusual, but still unwelcome. Why his strange, strong, stinking human crept into tribe's den? Kith slinks like shadow behind human who harasses stone stalker tribe. Why, Shadow? Does Beast Woman save a human's putrid smell? No, Stone Stalker's Prima. Beast Woman does not long to rut with human. Beast Woman stalks Fate Binder for survival, because Fate Binder is strong. Stronger than Hundred Blood. Danger, Shadow. Provoke Prima again and suffer hundred strikes. Bleed hundred times. Bray now for hundred blood, prima of great stone stalkers. Hurry, human, or beast woman will grow bored and chase like breeding, like bleeding prey. I'm looking for the Azure Shield, and I was told you know where it is. Tribe has shield, yes. Is proof of hundred blood's prowess. Could trade shield to human, but why should beast woman want to? What do you want in exchange? Disfavored predators, hunters, and enslavers of whole beast woman tribes <clears throat> have slunk and burrowed into rocks at Jagged Maw. In short seasons, we'll be scratching at tribe's den. We'll be threat to cubs and elders. Prima will trade shield to human if human agrees to hunt and slaughter ironclads and beast woman lands. Yeah, okay. I'll kill him for you. Luckily, I'm good at killing. Beast Woman can already taste Ironclad's blood on claws. Time to slaughter. Time to kill. Good, human. Kill disfavored for tribe. Then can slink to Spire Shrine and Gulf Glow and beg, beg Red Fang for shield. Okay, but what about these settlers? Uh, there's a spire in the, in the mountains. How do I reach there? Human speaks of Horizon Rock called Dawning Spire. A howling rock, yes? Pines for that which towers deep over mountains peaks. Human could cross through Stone Den to reach Mystic Spire, but why would Hundred Blood, Great Prima, to Stone Stalkers let humans stalk freely through Tribe's territory? No. If human wants favors from Tribe, human must first earn Hundred Blood's respect, earn Trinket Shield, then Prima will permit human to traipse onto Howling Rock. Say nothing. I wish to learn about the Stonestalker tribe. Beast women are oldest of species, and Stonestalkers are biggest ranging of beast women. Tribe's blood runs back to days of dust, to time before Azure rose in stone lands, to time before old walls. Time before humans ruined land with territory spats and war for dominance. What are Elder Teeth? Elder teeth are strength of stone stalkers, are rocks that gr gleam and grow from earth blood of ancestors, are legacy from first of tribe who were born from azure lands. 
Stone stalkers use elder teeth to make mystic claws strike harder and mystic bites cut deeper. What of your traditions? Stone stalker ancestors were born in first of seasons. Were weak and blunt clawed when young, but grew tougher together with land. Became strong beast women of this day. Always ancestors have led path forward. <coughs> Mystics remember and honor ancestors in breadth of rites. That that's that's what Kills and Shadow had said. That they were they were almost human like at one point, but they became they became tougher and more more like animals over time. Somehow. They they changed. Stone stalkers have too many rights, lean too heavily on guidance from mystics. Only right that matters to shadow hunters is practice of scarification. What sort of rights? <clears throat> have many rights. Have rights to harvest elder teeth, rights to become better mystic or to grow from weak whelp to strong stone stalker tribe mate. Have rights to honor hunting, to take to dominance, or even to rule tribe. For many years, humans forbid tribes sacred rights. But now stone stalkers prowl free. We'll honor ancestors and grow stronger, and stronger still will not be slaved again. What is your role? Hundred Blood is Prima, leader to many alphas and to many packs which form whole of tribe. Prima protects and preserves tribe's way of life. Any who disagree may challenge Prima's right of rule in blood match. Hundred Blood, strongest in all stone lands, has killed many to protect tribe. And will kill many more before her own body dies. Where were you during the conquest? Hey, 69 bits. Nice. Where, if not near Tribe Den? You would not see. Beast Woman fought to protect Stone Stalkers while Kairos' edict ravaged Stone Lands. Rested final freedom of tribe, reclaimed territories while peaked ground yowled, split, and swallowed mystic called Cairn. Ground still trembles even here. But Hundred Blood does not care. Even when land rages, beast women will thrive. Stone stalkers can steal strength from land, unlike weak, muling humans. Shifting stones does not hinder tribe. Uh, for a while, you followed Cairn the Archon of Stone, right? Beast women take strength from land's pulse, from sky's reach, from ocean's swell or tree's roots. Stone stalkers were mired like fertile muck of farm's fields, but great mystic called Cairn toughened both land and skin of beast women, drew tribe together to break yokes of human slavers. Even now as stone Cairn dreams and growls in sleep, tribe grows stronger. Tribe owes mystic from northern mountains many and much gratitude. Without Cairn, Hundred Blood could not have led Stone Stalkers to freedom. Cairn did something to change them. Did Cairn figure out how the Beastmen adapt themselves over time? Did he figure out a way to 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 jumpstart it? Did Cairn artificially evolve them? The fuck did he do? And what does it have to do with these crystals? <laughs> and the old walls. All things Karen was interested in. No wonder Kairos... Was, was he really disloyal or was Kairos just trying to silence him? Come on, Kills. Let's go. All right, we got a bunch of places to go. Um, Greystone Valley, Jagged Moss Shrine, Aurora Spire. Set to go there later. Okay, let's go to Greystone Valley. Mercy. It's like a fate binder out here. 
Thank Kairos, I thought the bastards had doubled back to kill me. Again. What happened here? Normally, when I wake in a strange place wearing nothing but my drawers, it's under more pleasurable circumstances. A scout reported from the city, Sarasha caravans have been despoiled by his favorite troops. Of course, it wasn't us, so me and Esad got detailed to track the problem. Didn't know then a squad of shields was missing. Tracked the bastards a few days, found the squad's body some leagues downhill. Thought to turn back, but two of the shields... They meant something to Esad, so I let him press us on. We kicked the damn hornet's nest a chorus. They've been sniping our guys a few at a time using our armor to raid caravans. So the chorus disguised as disfavored are hijacking caravans. Chorus are smearing our name. It was just my reputation on the line, so be it, but I can't let them do this to the general. He suffers enough for us. How does Graven Ash suffer for the disfavored? Who do you think bears the burden of our pain? Who makes us stronger than our enemies? Well, not that I'm even sure of it, but I've heard things. That there's a cost. If so, why let me survive? The chorus will pay for this. Can't be that far gone. Tracks there are headed north. <clears throat> you find the Scarlet Bastards, be sure to give my regards from Ash. Right before you cut their pissing cocks off. Hmm. False disfavored. Interesting. A false flag. How am I to fight in this? The breastplate alone weighs more than a beast. I can barely breathe in this iron trap. Bitch harder, you baby. My helmet doesn't even fit. A lot of them thought the lot of them had lumpy stones for noggins, but this thing's size for a child and tired of vice. I'm, I'm not, not sure I can get it off. Bite your friggin' tongues or I'll cut them out, iron visor or not. Nitwit, a few more raids and we'll have slandered the disfavored well and keen. We'll be flocking and join the chorus soon enough. Now practice swinging that sword. It's heavier than an axe, so it ought to lop through a leg like fresh churned butter. Stepping lightly. I found him. Right. I got it. Plus, we've never been fatter on crates. Misery scheme. Who the piss are you? Kind of careful. You're addressing a fate binder of Tunon. Fate binder of Tunon, you say? Well, Master Fate Binder, I'm sure if we talk things over, we can come to a mutual understanding. We got plenty of stock to go around to share with our dear pals, see? Proceed. Allow me to say it more bluntly. Have what you want be on our way. Don't worry, we'll ensure it's worth your while, Master Fate Binder. I want to know how you three idiots managed to kill two disfavored. Ah, oh, it's easy. And there were just two of them. Look, I'll even show you. Bloodshender swings your staff. Kill him! Okay. I guess we're doing this. Uh, let's geek the mage. Alright, kills in shadow. Let's geek the mage. Hey, Eb used fog cloud. It's super effective. Okay. Not doing too bad. I'm gonna come to Ev's rescue there. Will do. There we go. Walker helmet. Sorry, I can't. Let's see if I can find anything else here.
Oh, shit. There he is. Oh, he's still there. Good. I thought he died. Find the bastards that killed Assad. Rest easy, soldier. I brought vengeance on the guilty. Thank Kairos for fate binders. Bring us a justice and order to the tears. And fuck the chorus screamers who'd openly affront the overlords chosen. Won't forget what you've done, fate binder. I'll tell the lieutenant the others at Jagged Ma what you've done for us. Alright, well, let's be on my way. To Jagged Maw. Listen, buddy, it wasn't any love for the great general. Just, uh, the chorus men happened to have broken Kairos' peace. That's all it was. Oh, hello. This will be fun. And we're back to normal. Time for rain. Fire rain. That completely missed everyone. That was awful. <laughs> Just sliding away. Okay, the hard part is overpowering Ash's Aegis now. Because she keeps healing. But if you can alpha them down, you can overpower it. The trick is you gotta do more damage than they heal off Ash's Aegis. Because every time Ash's Aegis takes a uh, debuff off them, it heals them. Okay, his ashes each is done. Let's see if I can sever it. That didn't work. Will do. Come on, die. Got him. God, they're hard to kill. Red spiral carved upon this wooden cover of this papyrus notebook. The handwriting is haphazard and inscrutable. The entries contain recognizable sentences, and the book appears to be the journal of a Scarlet Chorus commander detailing troop movements. Times and locations are noted alongside numbers and pictures of trees, stick figures, rocks. The author either didn't know the words for lumber ore and people, or just felt more comfortable with pictures than words. While much of the journal is inscrutable, the corner of every page has the day's head count for the author's brigade. While some days note dozens of losses, the Brigade appears to be recruiting far faster than its members are dying or deserting. Interesting. Strange formation. This rocky protrusion is magical in origin. As Cairn roamed the Stone Sea during the conquest, it was rumored that structures like these were formed in his wake and contained traces of his essence. Learn new spell core. Sigil of Stone. <clears throat> Perhaps the newest magical sigil to Teratus, the Sigil of Stone was developed by disciples of the Archon Cairn. Since the Archon of Stone was destruction by Kairos' edict in the year 430 TR, the Earthshaker mages have devoted themselves to preserving Cairn's legacy and learning to harness the power of this obdurate sigil. Flesh to stone, coat an enemy in rock and earth. Very cool. That's very cool. Petrified for nine seconds. Stone spike. Draw a jagged spike of hard stone from the earth. Also very cool. Just just for fun, I'm gonna play with that. 
Just for fun. I got an achievement. Create a spell from all 11 schools of magic in a single playthrough. Nice. Gift of the Golem. Plus armor, minus move speed. Coat a target from head to toe in large earthen slabs of rock. Movement restricted, but armor greatly increased. Cool. Unsettled core. An aura of swirling rock around the target. That's actually very cool. You can have that, Kills the Shadow. Giant boulder. Yep, yeah, okay. Or my huge stone boulder, then send it. Crag weapon. Oh, plus crush damage. Use the target's weapon with the weight and strength of hard stone. Knocked prone on critical hits. Cool. And Jaws of the Earth. Conjure jagged slag spikes to rip through the ground. That's also very cool. Also very cool. All right, so let's uh, we got we got some new some new magic to play with, guys. New magic. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. Kills the Shadow, what are you doing? like 16 armor, Jesus. There we go, finally got him. And dead. Will do. Circle back. Back to Stone Down Gorge. Oh, a great plateau. Hmm. Sudden ascents, uneven footing proved tiresome. Crumbling rock and loose dirt make for perilous travel. Suddenly, the path in front of you ends. Being put gap separating from the walkable ground on the opposite side. You peer over the edge, can only see a dark expanse beneath you. Above you, you see a small rocky shelf with a tree bursting from its side, deeply embedded in the dirt. Uh, use a pickaxe to carve your own path. Climb to the shelf. Send Kills and Shadow to look around, or backtrack. Kills and Shadow, go take a look around. 
She leaps across the gap, stabbing her claws into the plateau wall midway to hold herself aloft. The beast woman steadies herself, placing her feet against the wall before effortlessly launching herself to the opposite side. As she looks downward, she chuffs in amusement, pointing toward the space beneath the gap at your feet. <clears throat> As your eyes adjust to the dim light, you see a large dirt landing underneath you, one that may be easily reached. You drop down and climb back up the opposite side. Nice. As you continue working your way through the rest of the steep path, the ledge begins to tilt upward, and you slowly make your way out of the shadowed chasm, back onto the wide expanse of a mercifully convenient stone pillar. Nice. We'll speak to 100 Blood, and I think I'll uh, call that for the evening. Don't want to get too far into this quest line. Can't do that. Ground quakes. Isn't that what she wanted me to do? Isn't that what she wanted me to do? Can't can we, do that. Can we talk now to some warden? Okay, never mind. Okay, I guess we do have to go to Golf Glow. I misunderstood. I thought we had to clear out the the dudes. But I guess we did that. Do that. Instructions vague, charged hunchback with infantry. That's, um. That's not advisable. Hunchbacks are cool, though. It's a fun mech. I used to run one sometimes when I played uh, the Mech Warrior games. A lot of fun. Man, I wish somebody would do, like, some kind of a long-form documentary video about Hunchbacks. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if anyone will do one. I guess we'll never know. Oh, no! Fatefinder! I've done my duty! You, you can't drag me back there! Um... Who are you, and why do you think I would drag you somewhere? You're an officer of the court, aren't you? Look, I know I'm breaking my work order with the Earthshakers, but it's not like we made it a real legal contract or nothing. I, I swear, it was just a handshake. You gotta believe me, please. It's not safe here. Oh, the Ox had a Battletech tourney. Oh, that's cool. That would have been... I wish I'd known about that. I wish I'd known about that. That would have been fun. I never actually played um, HBS Battletech, like, multiplayer. I've only ever played the, the single player. The beastmen, they've gone feral. They're trying to slaughter me along with those damn Earthshakers. I don't want to die, you've got to let me flee. Okay, seeing as how you've pissed yourself, fine, but I want the full details before you go. After the sea split, I thought I'd make a living mapping the land. I know the area well enough now, so the Earthshakers hired me to guide them. They were looking for some kind of precious stone. But the Stone Stalker seems to have other plans. When we get further in, they were already there, guarding the shards. One of the beasts nipped at an Earthshaker, so I fled. I've done my job, Fatebinder. Getting ripped to shreds isn't part of it. Fatebinder. 
Ignore this coward and allow me to enlighten you in our situation, assuming you haven't come to cause us trouble. Well, you don't need me with a fate binder here. You two want to go at it with the beastman. It's your funeral. I'm out of here. All right, speak. You have impeccable timing, as we seem to have entangled ourselves in a rather bloody rumble with the beastmen. Rumble. Stone stalkers don't rumble. Stone stalkers slaughter. <laughs> What's well, everything you people do seems to result in violence, and by that you mean the earth shakers or the disfavored? Because trust me, Fatebinder, if my guild could get what we needed without bloodshed, we would eagerly walk that path. But the beastmen have left us little choice in the matter. It would not be out here in the middle of Kairos only knows if it weren't wholly necessary. You see, the Azurlith loads in this region are incredibly important. They're what lured Cairn from his campaign orders to the stone, in the Stone Sea to begin with. And their refractive properties will enable us to amplify the phase velocity of his remaining energy. We hired a local scavenger to show us where he had seen a high concentration of crystal loads, thus he led us here. At first, the beastmen were amenable to our request, but shortly after our excavations began, they became wrought with anger. Apparently, we're stealing from their ancestors or some such foolery. There is what appears to be a leader among them, Red Fang, but she retreated into the spire before I could bring her to reason. Now we're trapped in a vicious standoff, and I'm hesitant on how to proceed. I already have business with the beastmen here. Do nothing until I've spoken with them. Excellent, Fatebinder. Be quick about it if you could. I can't say the tribes have reputation for patience, and I'd like to avoid conflict. Lack patience? Humans swarm and buzz at beast women like corpse flies. It is natural for beast women to squash such annoying pests. It looks like crystals grow from earth blood of Stonestalker's ancestors. Humans will not take such from tribe. I'm gonna have to kill them all, aren't I? Well, I'm pretty sure I remember how we dispel the Edict of Stone, and I don't think the Earthshakers are going to like it. Look, look. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Edict of Stone, the Sunset... I'm pretty sure the Sunset Clause of the Edict of Stone is as long as the traitor Karen draws breath. I'm pretty sure that's the clause. I'm pretty sure they're not going to like it if I try and resolve the Edict. Ooh, far below lies the Stone Sea. Gulf Go Old Walls is only a fraction of its previous landmass. Spires of terrain are made after great earthquakes. <laughs> Got it. Actually, what is that axe? That looks cool. Yeah, well, they can suck at eggs. Damn right. Long Claws Rage. We have an edict to break. Damn right. I have to break a few heads along the way, so fucking be it. They had their chance to play nice when I told them to do what I fucking say or I'll kick their asses. Oh, we are joined by a kit. Harlan, I think the Edict of Stone was meant to turn him into a stone golem. Wander no closer, human. Lee Nauer explained presence in stone lands. Even mentioned tribes' elder teeth and beastmen will pinch human body to ground below. I mean your tribe no harm, nor have I come for any teeth. I seek only to speak with Red Fang. No. Red Fang does not wish to speak with humans. Leave now, and beastmen will let human live. Snarl. I am a fate binder of Tunon, not some petty teeth stealing traveler. You will let me through. <laughs> he liked that. Fine. Enter at own peril, human. I got it. <laughs> it's a respect for that. Can't do that. It's just like dealing with dogs. You just gotta show dominance. Show him who's in charge. Can't do that. Establish dominance. Look 
Climb down. I want to climb down the cliff face. Ooh, cheese! Such great treasure. Such bounty. Sorry, I can't. The bounty of the cheese. This is the spire glimpsed by countless travelers along the stone seas northern horizon. T pose to show him his boss. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 it's old walls time. Kills in shadow. Can beastmen sense the magical field that the spires radiate? <sighs> mean bitter thrumming in Mac of Throat makes beast woman's lips curl. If was better mystic like Broodmother, could see where earth blood beats through spire. Thank you. Future readers, if I have them, will appreciate your insight. Interesting. I'm just taking more crystals. The crystals somehow managed to rupture through the foundation of the spire. And you would be Red Fang. Who pads here? Soft, soft, slow. Who braves to approach Red Fang? Guard eyes of Stone Stalker's old Stone Stalker's old walls. Then, speak, human. Quick, quick. Explain. Oh, Red Fang will rip Trespasser's jaw from head. I come for the Azure's shield. Hundred Blood sent me to you, saying you would give it to me. Maybe Prima would give shield to human. Maybe not. Red Fang does not know. Only knows to guard shield. If human can prove worth, Beast Woman will give shield. Kill Earth mystics who invade tribe lands. Then human can have shield. Alright, I'll get rid of him. Hurry, human. Do not wait to show might of stone stalkers to any who threaten tribe's freedom. Hurry and kill, then let Beast Woman lick blood from fingers when finished. Please, please. Right belongs to kills and shadow. Stay here and pine while Beast Woman laps endless blood of Earth Mystics. Ah, gross. Have a look here. Ooh, Sigil of Pride magic. Causes material of force or guarded form to only affect the caster with increased duration. Oh, cool. That's useful. It's very useful, because I only ever cast Mirror Image on myself anyway. Holy shit, it ups the duration, it almost doubles the duration in the effect, holy Christ. Holy Christ. It's good. It's real good. Ah, she can't use it. All right. Study carefully the glyphs. They're gibberish to me, but I know magic when I see it. Okay, let's have a look here. Where is it? Sunset Spire. Here we go, here we go. Nope. Here we go. Incomplete charcoal rubbing. Okay. So I these are usually symmetrical, so I bet I can figure out the shape. So we got like an orange slice, an orange slice, and a it's a moth. It's a moth. Okay, okay. I can do this.
All right, see you, Grimus. Hey, it worked. New Spire, New Spire, who dis? The now familiar light of the spire courses skyward, trailing off toward the horizon in the direction of Vendrian's well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away as you give in to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. The aurora spire and gulf glow feels violent and unsettled, like it would claw itself from the earth if it had the strength. The stones, though clean, feel sick, slick with blood. Something of the ritual and turmoil of the stone sea has warped this isolated place over the years. You feel energy well up from the ground and with reckless enthusiasm form a bond with Vendrian's well. Logically, I know I'm standing on solid rock, but this place has my balance askew. I keep feeling the stones beneath my feet shift and roll ever so slightly. I'd say I'm losing my mind, but I'd chalk it up to all the lingering effect of the Edict of Stone. Feels good. Tastes like blood slicked on tongue. Feels like kith and killing and claws furrowing into flesh. Such savage power. Feels like rutting and howling in shadow of rough stone. Is it me, or is the magical field of the spire in motion, churning? This place seems to come alive to your presence, just like the mountain spire did. Only here, instead of a constant arcane hum, it's more an intermittent scrape and shout. It isn't a steady hum, but an erratic... choir? Waterfall, maybe? All I know for sure is one of these days I'm going to write a treatise on the spires. It'll be the envy of... well, the handful of sages still left. Uh, training ground. That sounds fun. Yay! Training ground sounds fun. We've almost got all the spires. Only one more. Okay, looking for interesting ones first. Choo choo. Hunter who provides hides, that's useful. One handed subterfusion parry, I like all those skills. Unarmed dodge and athletics, also useful. Unarmed bows, athletics, and control vigor. Yeah. Lots of magic. And then... That one. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to train. He can't train me in much of anything. Excellent. I'm I'm too cool to be trained. Sigil of Piercing Force. All right, back down we go. All right, let's look. He pressed the side of the cliffs and deep crevices of his hands to looking across the whole region. Yeah, I'm sure it is.
<clears throat> right, well, we told the beast we'd slaughter the Earthshakers, so I guess we'll slaughter the Earthshakers. We need that shield. Sup, buckos. Oh, look, the party's already started. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Come on, heal. There we go, we're good. Hey, combat level up. Um, might seems useful in this situation. I don't really need any more of these. So maybe some readership skills. Uh, that's actually good. Might be time. Might be time to use a power. Skyblade. Geek the mage. Ha! Ah, death from above. Stampede! Come on, overpower him. Hey, we got him. I got it. Harp detected. <laughs> Level up kills and shadow here. Action unavailable during combat. Guess I'll have to go the long way around. Ah! Is this all part of the same combat? Come on, Kills and Shadow, help me out here. Yeah, let's actually give put focused rain back in. Whoa. 
Will do. Focus strain. Yeah. This is useless. Should try something else. Come on, do the spell. Do the spell. No way. No, Lantry. God damn it, Lantry. Why did you have to go down exactly now? Wait my signal. All right. Panic button. That was not as effective as I thought it would be. Come on, can I, can I come down now? There we go. Spinning, that's a good trick. On it. I'm terrible at this. How am I not dead yet? Wrong weapon for the job. I need to try something else. Hey, we did it! We killed them all! Hooray! What was that? Oh, it was another Agile shirt. Okay, that's a lot of them. Sorry, I can't. Well, mission accomplished. Whoops, hold on. Sorry. There we go. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Alright, Red Fang, we did the thing, now give me the thing. Big Binder comes to Beast Woman, fur drenched in blood of Earth mystics. Sight and scent pleases Beast Woman. Means bodies of Elder Teeth Stealers now feed tribes' lands. I am not holding out my fingers for her to lick. That is not happening. I've held up my end of the bargain, now hold up yours. Beast women do not forget promises. Do not break bargains. Human has done great deed for stone stalkers. If Prima says human can take shield, Red Fang will not stand in human's way. Just got an achievement. Overkill. Have ten artifacts. <laughs> All right. I've acquired the Azure Shield. It's uh that's pretty cool. Champion's Boon. Grants the wearer a bonus of quickness, movement speed, and accuracy. I'm not really a sword and shield guy though, so I'll uh, I'll hang on to that for, for Barrack to use. And I have other business here before I go back. We have a whole other spire we gotta activate. Besides, that was... that was way too quick. That was over way too fast. I don't trust it.
sorry, I can't. Gotta walk all the way down these cliffs again. Jesus Christ. Can you guys not just, like, like, put a... Oh, there is a bridge there. Look at that. Perfect. It's been there this whole fucking time. It's a conspiracy. Boo. Boo. Oh, I can't use it from this side. Okay, awesome. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Okay, hundred blood. Are we chill now? Are we cool? Now that I have the shield, I want to access the Dawning Spire. Follow path southeast of Tribe Den to reach Howling Rock. Stone Stalkers will show way if Fatebinder wanders until lost. All right. Now. Stone Warden, now will you release the prisoners? I slaughtered the Earth Mystic Trespasses at Gulf Glow for Red Fang. So you'll let them go? She growls, but nods. Sorry, I can't. Fatebinder, please, these beasts took us from the plains. They're holding us against our wills. It's only a matter of time before they kill and eat us. Uh, they've agreed to free you in payment of a debt owed to me. Archons be praised. Thank you, and thank you a thousand times more, Fatebinder. So these are the missing villagers everyone figured left Paw killed? So there we go. He didn't kill anybody. We have hard evidence. I got it. Fate binding complete. But there's one last thing to do. To the dawning spire. It's a long walk. Ooh, hours ago, two weary travelers assured you shelter and water awaited at a trading outpost within the remnants of an old Azure city, just a few leagues away. Now, standing along the edge of a cracked earthen pillar, you can confirm your hopes of resupply dashed. The old ruins have been relocated into the depth of a massive chasm. Some of the city remains visible, smashed against a steep escarpment directly beneath the cliff's edge. As your eyes trace the rubble trailing down the slope, you spy the telltale swirls of blue and white paint along an intact wall, markers used to indicate granaries, armories, and vaults. The largely intact structure is precariously placed, and bits of rubble constantly tumble down the side. Safety issues aside, it may be worth a look. Hell yeah! Rocky sloping to the vault is perilously steep. Losing your footing would be a painful tumble to the unseen bottom. Uh, we could climb down the remnants of the bridge. Carefully move down the slope on foot. Or use the remaining rope to repel down the escarpment. That sounds cool. Let's do that. Be able to pull up the entirety of the fallen bridge. You separate the wooden boards from the thick strands and coil the freed rope around a nearby tree. The descent is quick, and within moments you find yourself leaning against the rear wall of the Azurian vault. Its thick walls conveniently smashed wide open. Rings and other valuables spilled upon a dusty slope like desert jetsam. You scoop up as many items as you can find, filling your pouches and rucksack. As you step closer, you feel the ground beneath you wobble disconcertingly. Ah! The earth belches out a deep rumble, and the dirt around your feet rapidly begins to disintegrate, like sand energetically spilling down a slope. The vault jerks suddenly, angling itself toward the gap's base, before sliding downward with the shifting dirt. 
Your rope continues to hold, allowing you to carefully raise yourself as your feet occasionally make contact with the receding slope. You pull yourself over the edge, heart racing, but unharmed. The vault has completely vanished from view, once more an unclaimed treasure of the Stone Sea. Wow, Dense Iron Curious. Gems, lots of rings. Nice. Huh. Cool. More crystals. Don't remember what these are for. Hello. Hello there, big guy. Body of earth archon still rumbles and moans, but looks carved from stone. Is huge and powerful even now. Can understand why tribe likes mystic called Cairn. Astounding. Imagine the dread of seeing that charge at you. Even helpless, he's terrifying. We found Cairn. Cairn yet lives. Another crystal. Disfavored camp. Top. Found something. Okay, let's make camp here. And I'm going to call the night there. We'll uh, resume with the Archon of Stone uh, next week on Tyranny Tuesday. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time.